it was an accidental run-in with something they've never seen before for researchers with UBC and Dalhousie University. We were there to study just the feeding behavior of the northern resident killer whales. You discover things you never expected. And what they witnessed in 2020 while in the Johnstone Strait off northern Vancouver Island was that the killer whales were feeding on Chinook salmon and they were working together with Pacific white-sided dolphins. When a killer whale started its dive, often there was a dolphin ahead of it. And so the killer whale was actually following the dolphin. Researchers knew the pair hung out, but assumed dolphins were there to either harass, play, or even try and steal some fish from the killer whales. We never expected to see um, this level of cooperation. And we we're just astounded. There's absolutely no aggression between them. Customized animal tracking solution tags, or CATs, were placed on killer whales, which collects audio and video, as well as other data, and give researchers insight into how these two species would go after salmon together. They were hearing the dolphins echolocating, trying to find Chinook salmon, which are too big for them to capture themselves, but they're perfect targets for them to identify and find. And then the killer whale would take over to do the kill. The killer whales would resurface and share its kill with others from its pod. We see that, you know, the dolphins are going after the scraps. So both species are, are kind of getting salmon. Another theory researchers have to why these two have a mutual bond is that the resident killer whales are acting like bodyguards from Biggs killer whales who prey on dolphins. As long as the whales are hanging out with the dolphins, the dolphins have some protection. Researchers plan on collecting more data and hope this will prompt others to share information that they've seen on the unexpected relationship between these two. And this probably started well over a thousand years ago. It's not a new trick. Andy Garland, CTV News.